Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's K class. Today we will, uh, we will like to talk about this uh, rope uh, shank. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I was doing some design research and I came across to um, this rope type of a shank and it's really, really popular. Um, it may appear to be really complicated but it's quite easy. So I would like to show everyone today how to make this type of a rope shank. Okay, um, there's a few components right here. Um, as you can see, I have diamond here, I have bezel set here. If you're interested, uh, you can take a look on my other video on the YouTube. And it has uh, two video for it to how to step by step to build a diamond. Um, and then that might give you a better idea of the structure of the diamond, but it's it's really long uh, video to put it all together at once. So it has a two video, part one and part two for it. And then um, if you want to know how I build this bezel, I have another video, uh, which is on my YouTube as well. And it's showing you how to build a bezel set pendant in uh, Rhino 5. So take a look on those two videos, then you will know how to build this, pen, uh, this bezel and also the diamond. Once you have that, we can start in to build this rope um, shank. All right, so let's get to know what kind of command we need to use. We'll first use the curve as a profile. Now, uh, in this case, it's a ring, so we are going to have a circle as our curve, then we will use the spiral command and make sure you choose a long curve. I think it's a long curve, not along the curve option in the command bar. Uh, once you pick up the shape that you like, you can pipe the curve that you have, and then um, we can rotate it um, into two times or three times. While we're rotating, we want to copy. After that, we can do bowling unit and um, differences out uh, in the middle. So we bowling unit all the um, pipe that we have as a shape, but we want the inside of ring shank to be flat. So we want differences out, okay? And then you can put a bezel uh, with the diamond in there and it will bowling differences out. But today's tutorial, we want to focus on how to make this rope shank. All right, let's get started. All right, first of all, let's get a ring size here. Um, for the demonstration purpose, I always put it into uh, radius 8 or diameter 16. Um, you can starting with your desired ring size. So in my case, I'll just put 8 here for this demo. The second, we're going to go with the command, and the command is living under here, under the curve. It's called spiral. So you have left click and right click options, so make sure you left click on your mouse. Okay, And then on the top of the command bar right here, it has flat vertical and around curve. Make sure you click on the around curve. Now let's take a look on the perspective. In the command bar, the Rhino is really um, friendly. It always tell you what to do. Just follow the command. Select the curve. So we want to select this curve. All right. You see this crazy thing coming out. You can decide how many turns that you want, which means like how many times it's like wrapping around this circle. Um, I'm gonna go with 12 here. Okay. And then second you will tell the radius and how big of it. And I would like to take at the front view and I'm gonna zoom in to kind of find where, how high you want it. You can also type it if you like it. And I would suggest you holding the shift and click twice, okay? Now we have the things here. All we need to do is go ahead to pipe it. All right, so I'm going to using the pipe tool. It's living under here. That's the pipe tool. And then I want to go ahead and pipe it. Um, I don't know how big that is, but it's kind of visually. But if you are doing for design and you need to know what exactly size you want. Okay. All right. 
Now I have this pipette. I'm going to have a multiple here. Now you could have just using the rotate tool and copy equal yes and you are snapping into the zero. Um, let's go to the front view. And then you can kind of rotate this into whatever you like, right? Uh, it looks all right in the distance, but all of a sudden you see those gap here and it's not even and it's not what we want for jewelry purpose. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to do some calculation. So in the command bar, let's type it, see it, LC, so you have a calculator. Well, I just have a 12 turn, and of course, if I, 360 divided by 12, that will be 30 degree. So each of the peak to peak is 30 degree. I don't know why I need a calculator here, but what I like to do is go into the front view, okay? And I'm going to pick up my object and I'm gonna hit rotate. Uh, center of a rotation will be zero. And I, oh, you always like to starting with the zero. So holding the shift and click on this uh, red line, which is the X axis. All right. So now it's asking me like how far I want it to go. So in between the peak to peak is 30. And I would like to make two more. So that means I need to make a copy at 10 degree and make another copy at 20 degree. Okay, so let's take a look on this. It's really even. And uh, let's take a look on the perspective and see, oh, I can still see the gap. All right, that means uh, my rope wasn't actually fat enough uh, to resolve this. We could um, doing piping this to be a little bit fatter. Let's get pipe again. It's living under the solid. You will see this pipe here. Uh, this time I just visually want to be a little bit bigger. Maybe like this. Okay. And then so we got this pipe. Let's see if it is folding itself. No. Okay. Looking good. Now let's do exactly the same thing. We want to snipping into the center to the zero holding the shift and then you want to do 10 degree increment so we want to do 10 enter and 20 and make sure when you rotate your copy equal yes okay so let's take a look on this wall fat guy okay all right that's what we need um the next step we just need to bowling all of them All right, so let's take a look this fat guy here. Um, if it is a bracelet, it's okay. You don't have to do anything, but it's a ring. We need to make sure inside is flat. Uh, in this case, actually, well, since we are not model accurately, it's just by visual. So I would like to turn on my gumbo and just have it bigger a little bit. All right, and then there's a, there's a curve that we have. We want this curve going solid and go to extrude planar curve straight and make sure we want the both side equal yes on the command bar. So we get this right here. All we need to do now is go ahead and bowling different. Oops, let me do it again. Bowling this out of this. All right, now we have this shank. All right. Finally, we just need to add the bezel and bowling difference out. And you will see, let me go back to my very first one. Then you will see something like this. Oh, with the bezel, with the stone. All right, you can do three stone, you can do two stone. Or you can apply this technique to other application in the jewelry design or other industry. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon on my next video. Thank you.